Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial, uh, this Python tutorial series where I'll be showing you how to use the pandas library for data analysis using Python. Now this is the very first introduction tutorial for this uh, series, so I'll be showing you first how to download Python and then how to configure pandas with Python using the Anaconda distribution. Now uh, to download Python, you can easily simply visit uh, www.python.org and then here you have the downloads. You click on the download for Windows and uh, you save the file. You can see it's already downloaded and um, you click on it and then you press run. From here you can uh, you can s you can set it up to install uh, install now. Uh, you press install now. Yes. But yeah, but I won't be actually installing it because I have already installed a version of Python in my computer. So how to check whether you complete uh, whether you uh, install Python correctly or not? You just go here and then you type Python and you just press enter. Now you see your Python shell loads up without any issue. Now here we can see what version of Python you are currently using depending on the version that you installed actually uh, using the previous step. Uh, if you can see this one, that means you have co correctly configured Python already. So this one we call actually the idle, uh, the integrated in uh, development environment, the IDE. This is actually the the, the, the platform there where you'll be doing all your coding and stuff. So, but personally, I do not really prefer to use idle as my 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 day-to-day -day, uh, uh, IDE, but I'm using a different IDE called uh, Spider, which comes actually embedded in the Anaconda distribution when you install that. Um, I'll be showing how to, you how to do that. Now, once you correctly configure Python, the next step that you need to do is to install pandas library now what is pandas library pandas is actually a software library written exclusively for python programming language for data manipulation and data analysis so but unfortunately it does once you install python it does not come uh, come with python by default so that's something that you have to install separately now there are many ways of, uh, I mean, c multiple ways of installing uh, Pandas library, but I'm going to show you the easiest way to do that, which is by using the Anaconda distribution. You go to www.anaconda.com slash download. And from here, depending on the version of Python, which you already install, you, you can download the corresponding uh, version of Anaconda. Uh, based on your uh, the based on 64-bit or 32-bit the type of the Windows version that you are using, and after you download this, you can simply follow the steps of installing. After that, uh, after you correctly configure Anaconda, you'll uh, you come to the Start menu and then you type and uh, you type Anaconda. You will see this, uh, the Anaconda prompt and also the Anaconda Navigator. What you need to open here is the Anaconda Navigator. Once you click on this, you will be directed to here. here actually, you can see a couple of things, but I'm not going to describe each and everything except for Spider and Jupyter Notebook. Now, Jupyter Notebook is actually a web-based uh, interactive computing uh, notebook environment, which I'll be using definitely in the upcoming tutorials. But for today, I'll just be showing you what exactly this Spider means. Now, Spider is also uh, an IDE where you can. It's basically your code editor. And after you, <clears throat> so from from now on, I will be using basically Spider for our for our future uh, uh, tutorial work. So, how to configure pandas is the next question. Mm. What you can basically do is you go to the start menu and then you type anaconda prompt. Here you can see the anaconda prompt. You right click and then you run it as the administrator. Sorry, I think I missed that one. Okay, I'm gonna do it again. Anaconda. Right. Run it as administrator. Yes. And then here, what you need to basically do is, for whatever the 
library that you need to install you need to use this command pip space install space in our case we are trying to install pandas so i'll just say pandas pandas and press enter and then it'll do it will do its thing and then uh, it will automatically install pandas now after you see that everything is done already you can close this window after you install the pandas library using pip command, the pip command, now you can come here and then just type import pandas. This is basically a check whether you have correctly com uh, configured the pandas library or not. Now when you type import pandas, this is actually the way to import a library. Uh, when you type import pandas, if you get no errors, then uh, most likely you have installed the library correctly. You can do a secondary check by typing help within brackets pandas and it will show you uh, a description about the pandas library pandas a powerful data analysis and manipulation library for python and here you can see sort of functions actually you can use with the pandas and then uh, which we will be actually discovering uh, exploring in the upcoming few weeks so i guess that's it for today i showed you how to install i uh, how to configure python and also how to configure the pandas library so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i hope you will you will tag along for the upcoming few tutorials too if you like the video like and if you think it's worth subscribing then you're very welcome to subscribe as well thank you very much